This is a good example of how uh, dumb summarizing the answer choices can actually help us if we're trying to get, sort through complicated passages. Just by quickly looking at them, I do notice that by contrast is obviously a, a but uh, word there. So is nevertheless. We have to memorize that one. It's it. They might. There's some situations very, very rare that they might slightly mean different things, okay? Uh, but for most purposes in the SAT, words like uh, nevertheless and by contrast are both contrast words. They're going to show some sort of transition between a positive and a negative maybe. But um, since they mean basically the same thing, it's very unlikely that one of them is right and the other is wrong. So again, there could be exceptions, but it's very unlikely. And so from just that, you probably already down to a 50-50 shot. So in fact, in other words, these are not uh, transitions that tend to fit our normal categories, but um, at least in other words is very literal, right? We're going to be saying the same thing in other words. But let's think about it and see if anything kind of jumps out at us as we read. Uh, so biographer Michael Gora notes that the novelist Henry James lived a world of second thoughts, lived in a world of second thoughts, frequently tinkering with his novels and stories after their initial publication. However, so there's a contrast, uh, the differences between the 1881 and first edition and the 1908 edition of his novel A Portrait of a Lady are extreme, even by James's standards. Now we have a sentence, right? That's what the semicolon is saying. Some critics regard the two novels, uh, the two editions, as two different novels altogether. Wow, I stumbled in that sentence, but I got it. I got it. Okay. So what do we have here? Let's kind of just highlight some important ideas. The differences are extreme. Uh, some critics regard the two as two different novels altogether. So is that really a contrast to say that they have extreme differences, but they might be different novels? I don't think that's that's a contrast. In fact, that seems to be kind of an enhancement, right? They're saying they're very extreme differences. They're so extreme that they might actually count as different novels. So I'm, I'm just confirming what I thought before, that neither of those choices is going to be right because they're both kind of meaning the same thing, but I also don't feel like I have a contrast. I'm not thinking in terms of connotations, positives and negatives, but I still don't feel like we're changing or opposing any idea that we said in the first part. We're continuing it in a sense. In other words, it might be tempting here, but are we really saying the same thing in other words? No, I, I don't think we're contrasting, but we're certainly not repeating ourselves either, right? To say that there's uh, the, no the differences are extreme is not the exact same thing as saying that the novels could be considered two different novels. That's, that's moving the point forward. It's not just repeating it. And so a uh, choice like D, we really have to think of as, as very literal. We are putting what we just said in other words and not changing it in, or adding to it in any real way. And that leaves us with in fact, which is a transition we wouldn't, you know, maybe jump to. It's very similar to the word indeed, which we've seen on some of these questions, but basically it is a word that adds emphasis. And in this case, I think it's also allowing that kind of enhancement, right? Not only are these extreme differences, but they're so extreme that they could be different novels entirely, right? Um, and so I, I almost even, you know, kind of naturally want to say, in fact, here, um, if I shorten the sentences a little bit, uh, the differences are extreme. In fact, they might be different novels, right? That's, it fits if we just kind of put that in. But I feel like, in fact, even though it is a, a transition phrase that you might even use in your own conversations and writing, it's not one that we have an easy time defining. And that's why, I, unlike the others that kind of like, we can almost substitute in this other word, right? But this one, it's not like we're substituting in the word emphasis. It's just, its purpose is to add emphasis. And so it's a little bit different. It doesn't really fit into our four main categories, but that's why I really like the four main categories for questions like this, because we can at least get rid of some of the uh, the other tempting answers, and, and then we're down to a simpler choice, I think, between B and D. So always try to simplify these words, dumb summarize the transition words, in addition to dumb summarizing the sentences, so that everything is just kind of more natural and more uh, flows more easily through uh, your brain, so that you can kind of pick up on the, the natural transitions that you would make between these sentences.